somewhat maybe Tuesday, but the issue of Sunday alcohol sales may be on the verge of actually drying up. Eyewitness News political reporter Kevin Rader has been following this breaking news story all day, and he joins us now from the State House. Kevin? The public hearing on Sunday sales starts tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., but the fireworks started here in the hallways today. Sunday sales of alcohol may be hitting a huge roadblock. Committee Chairman Tom Dermody has crafted a compromise amendment that would require a segregated area for beer and wine and licensed clerks. It also requires box stores to implement the same training program used by the liquor lobby. It will be um, consistent training across the industry, also regulation on discussing of where hard liquor should go, and then the segregation of wine and beer. That amendment is very, very troubling to us. It is nothing more, Kevin, than uh, the liquor store's wish list. It, it, it requires uh, that distilled spirits be behind a counter. The liquor store lobby has really kind of zinged us on a couple of these things in the language, and they know as well as we do the top two customer issues in retail are being out of stock on the item they want, wait time in line. So what this does is impose an extra line in the store. This is an important issue that is sound public policy in terms of where, how hard alcohol is being sold, where, how beer and wine is being sold, which all states throughout the country have always weighed in on. Somebody asked me yesterday when we mentioned that there was more than one poison pill in this, so to speak. I, I think you could probably stock a Kroger pharmacy with a number of poison pills that are loaded in here. So you know, No one else has ever really had the opportunity to debate Sunday sales, take a vote. Uh, I hope everybody looks at the big picture and look at uh, starting the process tomorrow. Clearly the momentum here has now switched. The box stores that were pushing hard for Sunday sales are now, instead of being on the offensive, seem to be on the defensive. But again, it'll be interesting. It'll may certainly make tomorrow's public hearing at 9 a.m. extremely interesting. At the State House, Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.